Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your 30 minute continuous body weight only cardio workout. What you're going to need today is yourself and a mat, that is it. Now, just because it's low impact today, meaning it's no jumping, doesn't mean it's gonna necessarily be low intensity. We're gonna keep it right around a moderate intensity. Every exercise is timed today, so we do not have to go at the same speed. Ultimately, you control the intensity of today's workout with your tempo. So if you find your heart rate being too elevated, just slow it down. Since there are no built-in breaks today, we have to find a challenging but doable tempo for you for about 30 minutes, all right? So we have 30 exercises today. Each exercise will be performed for one minute each. With about 15 seconds to go, you're gonna see a demo up in that upper hand corner. Once you hear that ding, we've switched. Today's workout combines some cardio, body weight exercises. You'll also find that some of these exercises are pretty challenging and require a lot of strength. So I will be telling you the modification for some of these exercises as we go, but I'm gonna try to keep talking to a minimum. The modification and the focus will also be up in here with what the exercise is called. All right, y'all, so this is continuous. It's going to start out fairly easy, but don't be fooled. It's going to progressively become more and more challenging. Remember, you control the tempo. This is your workout. If you want to make it more challenging, speed up the tempo. If we need to back off, let's slow it down. You can also just chill for an exercise, grab a drink, unless it's unilateral. If it's a bilateral exercise, grab that drink and then get right back to work. All right, y'all, this one's fun. Let's make it fun. Let's get moving and let's get to work. All right, so this workout will become progressively more challenging as we go along. You won't even know what hits you. It's gonna be like, oh, this is so easy. Oh my gosh, what's going on? So it's, it's gonna be fun though. So first exercise up to forward reaches. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna reach up for two and we're gonna reach forward for two. While we do that, we're just tapping the feet. We're getting nice and warm, we're moving. This is our first exercise. We go in three, two, and one, let's work. Next up, we have butt kicks. We'll add those arms after we get the kick down. Let's go. So just start to kick side to side. Elbows out. Now let's add it. Next up, ab twist with the knee ends. We'll get the ab twist down first. In three, two, and one. So start to twist. Keep it tight. Now we go three, two, in, three, two, in. Every third rep, knee comes in. Use the lower abs to get that knee up.
Jack with a punch, we'll punch with the left. And three, two, and one. Punch left, tap right. Travel punches. Let's go, sister, to punch it. Now we travel down in that squat for four, three, two, one. Go up, three, two, one. Jack with a punch, other side. So punch right, tap left. Punches with the knee ends. We got a little twist, get the abs involved. So it's just twist and punch. A little crunch with the lower abs. Coming up, left leg steps back, right arms, punch, both arms punch up. So let's go, punch. Up at an angle, that left leg's going back, we're stabilizing with the right, core stays tight throughout. Tap 
bright glue should be on fire. Coming up, uppercut for two, side for two, and three, two, and one. Wide stance. Up to the side. Tap the feet as we do it. Hands stay up. High punches coming up. That right leg moves, left leg stays grounded. Let's go. Coming up, we have a side shuffle. All right, take this as slow or as quick as you want. So soft knees, travel, tap, then tap. Option, slow it down. Side repeaters coming up. Let's get those abs twisting. Left leg's gonna move, hands go up and over, just twist. You can also just keep the hands here, bring the knee in, or you can really pull. Squat to reach, and three, two, and one. We bring it down to your squat, calf raise, squat, calf raise tempo.
side repeaters, other side in three, two, and one. That right leg comes in, twist. Side shuffle, squat to reach, we combine. Side shuffle, squat, reach, calf raise. Side shuffle, calf raise, return. Have more room to work with, feel free to increase your distance with the side shuffle. Ankle tap, knee twist, let's go. Slow it down if needed. This is a great exercise to kind of come back down to earth. That heart rate was getting away from you. We're a little over halfway through this workout. We have repeaters. We ground through the right, we move the left, get the lower abs to really fire up. Knee comes in. You can tap the knee or you can pull. I like to pull because I can really get the lower abs, get that knee up a little bit more, but find what works for you. This is your workout. Let's keep it up. Step back plank, variation of the day. We had four mountain climbers in that plank. Bend the knees so much so that you can plant the palm. Step back, high plank, mountain climber for four, three, two, one. Step it back in, bring it up, and we just take that first spin. If needed, an excellent option here would be to place your hands on a bench or a stable surface to just decrease the angle of this plank. You could also do it on a wall. All 
All right, y'all, coming up, we have repeaters on the other leg, but first, got to tie my shoe. Right leg's gonna move. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we continue on with the step back plank. This time we had a high to low plank. We'll alternate every time. Ah, let's go. So we take it back. Once we get to our high plank, wide stance. Right forearm, left forearm, right hand, left. Take it in. The next time we're down, we go left forearm, right forearm, left, right. If needed, bring it to the knees once you hit that plank. Up, we have a lateral lunge to reverse lunge combo. The left leg will move. Bring it on up. Okay, left leg's gonna move. Your left leg, lateral lunge. Knee comes in. It's gonna challenge your balance. Reverse lunge, knee in. Then smooth it out. Option here, tap, reverse, tap. <laughs> Have another step back plank. This time we come to our forearm. So we're just continuing off of that high to low plank. Once we reach the forearms, we punch for four, three, two, one, and then we come back up. Same concept, alternate the way the forearms come down. Once we get to the forearms, punch four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Lateral lunge. To reverse lunge combo. That right leg is gonna move. And three, two, and one. Lateral lunge, knee in. Reverse lunge, knee in. Option, tap. But somewhere there's a light inside of us. It shows the way. Not looking for no, no, no. Heaven of gold, cause I got you. I got you. Don't wanna stop.
back plank with a Spider-Man plank. So we're building off that high to low plank again. We step it back, come to the forearms. Now we take it knee to same tricep, hitting those obliques for four. Then we bring it back to the hands and we step it in. Alternate the forearms. I'll stay in bed I still got the feeling that you're next to me Stuck in my head When lights go off You're everything that I could ever want Your touch so soft Now look up for no, no, no Next up, standing oblique crunches. Left is gonna move, wow. Reach it up and over. Now we bring it in. Find your tempo. If you need to slow it down, slow it down here. Step back plank with a push up in three, two, and one. All right, so we step back, push up, elbows point back about 45 degrees. Keep that strong plank, we bring it in, bring it up. Now, if needed, now of course, the option release the knees down, bring that push up to the knees, and then we're rocking and rolling, y'all. Less than five minutes, we got this. One more rep. Then we have oblique crunches on the other side. And three, two, and one. We got this. Our final step back plank variation of the day will be a modified burpee. So we step back, push up, step in calf raise. Let's go, we got this. Three minutes y'all, we're here for one minute. Step back, push up, on or off the knees. Step in, raise it all the way up, calf raise, then we do that again. Don't let your form slip on that push-up. Slow it down if needed. This is your workout, you control it. All 
our final two exercises will be standing. It's a little spin on what we've already done. Ab twist with a punch. Let's get the ab twist down first. Every third rep, we bring the knee in. Now we're gonna punch. tight we're here for 30 more seconds than our final exercise y'all and it's just a continuation of this little ab burnout so get it engaged keep it engaged Two, now long lever, little sumo squat position. Now we're gonna punch. Twist as much as you can through those abs. A little internal rotation. We're here for 30 seconds, final 30 seconds. We're gonna shorten the range of motion. Try to burn out those abs just by twisting. We're twisting, that's how we're ending. The hard work is already done. Keep this engaged. We shorten the range of motion, pick up that tempo, and five. Four, three, two, one, short control. Yellow. This is where we're moving from. Come on, one inch lower. Final 10. There's no fancy ISO hold at the end. This is it, y'all. In three, two, one. We are done. Nice. Wow. Oh, thank goodness. We're waterproof mascara. Okay. Let's stretch it out, shall we? First, let's get the lower body. So bring it to your mat. Right leg's gonna go forward. We're gonna keep a neutral low back. Big deep inhale as we exhale. Just feel a big stretch along that left hip flexor into the left quad. Reach the left arm up and over. Everyone's gonna be different with their calorie burn if you are using a tracker. So I hate telling you what I get. Cause I am talking, we're different gonna calculate it different based on age, sex, weight, and then also whether or not you have a naturally high or low heart rate. Other side. So I like to go by feel. That's my way, that's my way to work out. Cardio uh, or strength exercises. Resistance training, when I have heavy weights in my hand, I don't care what this says. I'm going by reps left in the tank and rate of perceived exertion, which I also use in cardio workouts. So this one I was trying to keep right around seven, eight for me. I was not going full out during any exercise. Although some exercises I was like, well, I need a little break, but I was talking through it. So it felt good. I feel good. And that's what we want to do after this workout. We want to feel good. All right, let's go ahead, walk the hands out. Big, deep inhale. As we exhale, curl the toes, lift the knees and the hips up and back. Pedal off the heels, left and right. Now reach both heels towards the mat, or they don't have to touch, but just start to drive the chest towards the quads. Ooh, send that stretch into the back of the legs. Inhale, look up at the hands, walk it forward. Once you get there, grab opposite elbow, opposite hand. Let's just give, let's just stay here for a moment. Giving the hams a little bit more TLC. Yes is a nose with the head. Bring all swaying to a stop. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, see if you can let that head hang a little bit deeper. Soft knees, root to rise, reverse, swan, dive it up. Let's grab a hold of that tricep. Now, 
After this tricep stretch, I want to open up the chest and the shoulders. And to do that, uh, we're gonna use a wall. So if you don't have a wall near you, you can end it after these triceps or find a wall or a stable surface. You can use a stairway, banister, a cabinet probably, just something that won't move back on you. And if you find that it's shorter, you can also do this kneeling. You can use a tree, just get creative. All right, so find your stable surface, bring it out to the side. If my stable surface was down below, I'd come to a kneeling position. Slowly start to rotate open until you feel a stretch along the chest and the front of the delt. If you don't feel any stretch, continue to open until you do. Once you feel that stretch, it should never be painful, but it should feel like a stretch. We're gonna hold here for about 15 more seconds. Big deep inhale. As we exhale, undo that twist. Other arm comes out to the side, inhale, exhale, start to open up. Find a spot that feels good for you. Once you find it, we're gonna hold for another 15 seconds. Big deep inhale as we exhale, undo. Inhale, arms reach up. As we exhale, bring the elbows out to 90 degrees. Look up, elbows draw slightly behind the rib cage to open up the chest and delts again. Let's do that one more time. Inhale up and exhale, open. Y'all, nice work today. As long as you tried your best, that is all that matters. My name is Laurie. Be sure to like, subscribe. Your support means everything to me. Comment below. Uh, Follow me, tag me in your stories on Instagram at Laurie Midkiff. Y'all, and most importantly, have an amazing rest of the day. Make it a great day, my friends. You rock.